Hi, my name is Kevin Shu from Northeast Spine and Sports Medicine. Today I'd like to talk to you about something that I see in the clinic as a non-surgical sports medicine physician fairly often, and that's a condition of low back pain. Now, in the low back, if I have a young person come in who happens to be a cheerleader, for example, a gymnast, or could be a tennis player, some of the common symptoms that that person might experience is pain on one side of the low back. Today I brought a spine model to show you something called spondylolysis. And this is something that we would check for in the office as an outpatient. So in this spine model, as you can see, this is the front of the spine here. This is the back of the spine. When somebody has spondylolysis, we call that a pars fracture. It can begin as an ache on one side of the back, which is usually not accompanied by sciatica. Usually it's pain in the back only, and usually it's right or left side, but not typically both sides, just one side. And the area in question that an x-ray would look for to see if there was a fracture would be an area located right about in here. We call this structure the Scotty dog. If you can imagine the nose, the ear, the neck, the forelimb, the body, and the hind limb as the Scottish terrier or Scottish dog, the neck here, if it was broken, would be what we call a pars fracture. Oftentimes a simple x-ray is not enough to see if the fracture is truly present. Better would be something like an MRI, a CAT scan, or another study.